All right, boys and girls, I am here at Hudson Valley Motorcycles in Hudson Valley, New York, picking up the new bike. It is the 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4S with a little bit of customization built into it. Let's take a look. So one reason I like the Multistrada 950S is because of this beautiful red here. And on the Multistrada V4S, you have this silver panel right here. That's what that looks like. But I noticed that on the Sport model, you have a red panel. So what I did is I special ordered the red panels off the Sport model to put them on my model to make a completely red bike. And here's how she looks. Absolutely breathtaking. That person agrees. So this part right here was silver. And now we have a red bike, Ducati Red. And I'm loving every second of looking at this bike. Okay, here she is with the panniers on it. I think I might've said panniers or something like that. Forgive me, this is the first time I've ever had a motorcycle that has storage. I have not heretofore been the type of man that has a bike like this, and now I am. So far, I have ridden about 40 feet, and I had to pull over at this gas station to fill up and to get some sustenance. Double chocolate Nesquik and Reese's snack cakes. Because your boy didn't eat lunch yet. There are more important things to do than eating. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Here's my first official mod. There we go. Much better. Well, technically these are my first official mods. Let's do another mod here for a few extra horsepower. Weight savings. Lighter is faster. All right, as you can hear from the cicada, it's over 90 degrees out here in New York. I have never had a bag that carries stuff and I am loving this so far. Carrying all my stuff. You could even fit a helmet in there. And of course you can get the rear one too, which is a lot bigger. But I've got tons of camera stuff and equipment in there. First time in my life I've ever had that. I gotta say, it is super convenient. Loving it. Just got back from my maiden voyage and I've got a lot to say. Something's wrong with my throat. Introducing the most powerful adventure motorcycle and most high-tech motorcycle in the world. This is the 2022 Ducati Multistrada V4S travel and radar version. I will mention that in the United States, you can only get the V4S, you can't get the regular V4, and you wouldn't want it anyway, because this motorcycle is packed with so many features, it can make the motorcycle fit you like a glove. And you want your motorcycle to be fit to you and not the other way around. That said, I have a Ducati Diablo 1260S, as well as a 2021 Monster 937. So why did I buy the Multistrada? Because instead of being sad that winter is coming, I wanted to be glad that winter is coming. And now I am. This is gonna be my winter bike or my any season long touring motorcycle. Anytime I wanna ride in comfort and be protected by the elements and be babied by these heated seats and heated grips, adjustable windscreen, fully autonomous suspension, off-road capabilities, and any number of other luxuries, I'm gonna take the Multistrada. So the differences between the 2022 model and the 2021 model are that this 2022 model comes fully equipped and enabled with a radar system, whereas the 2021 comes equipped with a radar system, but it's not yet enabled and it requires your service technician to do it for you, which is a fairly labor intensive process and you have to pay more for it. The 2022 is also a little bit more expensive to offset the cost of calibrating that radar system. There is so much technology and so many features packed into this motorcycle. Let's just cover the essentials here and then we'll get on the motorcycle and take a ride together and talk about the rest. The Multistrada comes with a 1200cc 90 degree Gran Turismo V4 with a counter rotating crankshaft which helps to improve the handling and agility of the motorcycle. It's got four valves per cylinder and utilizes twin pulse firing order technology which ensures full manageable power at any speed. We're pushing out 170 horsepower and 92 pound feet of torque with our six speed smooth gearbox accompanied by Ducati's quick shifter both up and down to assure the smoothest, most powerful acceleration. There are multiple modes we'll talk about when we're on the road, such as enduro, sport mode, touring mode, and there are over 400 different customizations that you can make on this motorcycle to make it the perfect motorcycle for the perfect ride. We have a huge 22 centimeter ground clearance here, so I finally have a motorcycle that can tackle, nay, dominate all of the New York potholes that I have to suffer every winter. That fear is a thing of the past. In fact, bring them on. Speaking of dominating potholes, we've got a 19 inch wheel in the front, a 17 inch wheel in the back, and I got spoked wheels to handle whatever the tri-state area winter throws at me. And if I ever do go off-road, I'm now optimized for it. We've got heated grips and seats, and even your passenger can set by themselves multiple heat levels with this switch right here. 
Now this bike is still quiet because it still has the stock exhaust, but I really didn't want to have a loud bike for this project. And I already have screaming Terminiones on both my Diablo 1260S as well as my Monster 937. However, I did hear that the Akropovich system that goes with this bike, and by the way, yes, that is actually pronounced Akropovich. If you want to get technical, it's Akropovich. Is a great improvement. It reduces the weight, adds more power, more torque, and has just enough good grunt sound, not to shatter your neighbor's windows, but to sound much better than the stock exhaust. So I am planning on getting it, although it is expensive, not unlike my Terminiones. So I do have to put a kidney or two on Craigslist before I get it installed. But rest assured, more horsepower, more torque, less weight, better sound and better looks are more important to me than vital organs. So stand by for the full Akropovich exhaust system review soon. I am absolutely in love with the look of this motorcycle. It's big and bulky, but sleek and refined. I'm so glad that I got rid of the silver side panels here and replaced them with the red sport ones. I love the panniers with this glossy red panel on here. These are super easy to remove if you wanna go riding without any storage. And they're effortless to open by just turning the key here and lifting up this lever here. The right side has an installed heat shield because that's where your exhaust is. And into the left side, you can fit a helmet. The aerodynamics are designed to divert the heat away from the rider. I love the look and functionality of the spoked wheels. I love this windshield that you can effortlessly raise and lower with a single hand. This 6.5 inch TFT color display is beautiful. And here's where your warning indicator lights are if a car is approaching you from the rear. This is the front facing radar and this is the rear facing radar. But enough talking, let's go for a ride. Note that when I picked up the Multistrada, I dropped off my flyweight Monster 937 as it needed its first 600 miles service. And that felt like getting off a fighter jet and sitting on a house on two wheels. The Multistrada is big. It's muscular. Big and strong like a lean bodybuilder. Yet the wet weight is only 529 pounds. There are four modes including Sport with 170 horsepower, Touring with 170 horsepower, Enduro with 115 horsepower, and Urban with 115 horsepower. And you can customize these beyond your wildest imagination to really make this bike fit you. So this motorcycle is the first in the world to have forward and rearward facing radar for adaptive cruise control as well as blind spot detection. The adaptive cruise control will speed up and slow down matching the car in front of you at your own designated distance. For example, if you want to follow it three car lengths, you can, or configure that distance to whatever you're comfortable with. Now, if something pulls out in front of you with this system active, or if the car in front of you hits their brakes, the Multistrada will actually apply your brakes for you, which could be a lifesaver. It won't bring your bike to a complete stop because really you don't want to fall over, but it gives you more than enough time to take the controls. I'll do a whole separate video testing out the radar systems. This bike has keyless operation, which is always nice. I have it on my Diablo 1260S, but it's sadly missing on my Monster 937. But the Monster is at a lower price point, so I get it. You have full LED headlights with daytime running lights, as well as cornering lights, so the lights will peek around the corner for you as you go. At idle, the bike turns off the rear bank, so it operates on two cylinders, shutting off the rear two and this cuts down on heat for you and your passenger as well as improves fuel economy. It's an awesome technology. It's quiet, but you can hear the rear bank gently turn off and then engage again when you start to release the clutch. It feels like you're sitting on a high-tech Lamborghini of the motorcycle world because you are. You're sitting on a Ducati. It's not cheap, but you get what you pay for. I feel zero heat from the engine. As I showed you, the arrow is designed to direct the hot air away from you and your passenger. The S model has semi-active Marzocchi suspension controlled by the Ducati Skyhook suspension system. So the concept and execution of Ducati Skyhook suspension system is the bike is hanging from the sky like on a Skyhook, and the wheels are just adjusting based on the terrain below as you basically float on a cloud. And that's exactly what it feels like riding in. You can use your GPS from your phone on your screen, similar to Android Auto or CarPlay. It does require a third-party app and is reportedly quirky, so I'll be doing a separate video on that. So I didn't get the Sport model because I wanted a bike that can handle any terrain. I already have sports bikes. I wanted the spoked wheels and the ability to tackle whatever the winter throws at me. 
while still retaining the excellent power and handling of the motorcycle. Also, the sport model only has a Akrapovich slip-on, and I want the full system. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. Stay tuned for more, and in the meantime, always remember the motto, always be kinder than necessary.